Hey guys, Lucas from Explore here. So I'm still in Hachijojima visiting Axel. We've been having a very fun week, but I'm feeling a little tired. So I want to check into a really comfortable resort hotel, and take it easy. So here we are. Uh, so I got to check in first. Morning, sir. Hello. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I do. It's under iExplore. <laughs> iExplore. Here we are in this ridiculously wow. huge abandoned hotel. Mm -hmm. And I have no idea how long it's been abandoned, but it's really, really cool. And this right away catches my attention. I love uh -huh. this puddle. Let's see here. It's going to so, be good with the reflections. Right? Yeah, I think we can do something with the reflection for mm -hmm. sure. Now, we have tripods, as you can see on my bag, which is the only thing the bag is for. It's just, I'm just there's nothing in it, just using it to carry tripods. But probably during the shooting of the video, we won't use them just to keep things moving. So I'm just going to handhold this. What's going on here? Ah, there go. I had my settings all over the place from shooting the stars last night. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful, man. Mm. I like to see this, the chandelier. It looks like a crystal rock. <laughs> you mean the broken, yeah, broken bits of chandelier? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. It does look like some kind of crystal, but it's just pieces of the chandelier. <laughs> that fell. Beautiful. Very cool. Right away, very cool. Great start. So yeah, guys, I'm, in terms of settings, I'm just keeping the shutter speed around a 20th, a 30th, f2.8. I know it's not ideal, like if I could shoot it on an f8 or something, it would be better. But again, we'll do some tripod stuff maybe later. I'm just going to peek in this window here. Wow. Wow, this room is really cool. Let's, what let's, did you find? Just oh. really quickly, let's look in this room. This Can is the bar, bar Mykonos. Wow. Wow, this is incredible. Looks good. Wow. That's interesting. So over the bar there, there's a very strange drawing. Look at that. It's like a mountain with the sun. And that to me does not look like it was originally here. I bet you somebody came later and added that. So it's a little, it's a little bit creepy, a little bit spooky. Mm. Um, I wonder what, what we're going to find as we continue exploring this place. All right. Okay, well, it's tempting to go into this room deeper, but I think we should not because the floor is very unstable here. Let's go Let's up. go back. Maybe yeah. we'll keep going upstairs. Let's go that uh -huh. way, Chica. Uh -huh. And then let's go... Oh, but wait a minute. What's this? Look at this. So that same symbol drawn that was drawn over there is drawn over here all right isn't that creepy <laughs> what kind of weird people you know came here and you know maybe used this place as like a cult cult house is it a symbol of um the, you know this island i mean it kind of looks like it. it's like two yeah. peaks right mm -hmm. this this um your know, island has two mountains on it right all right let's go up these grand stairs here <laughs> we're gonna not rush through it guys but we're not going to explore it like super carefully because it's huge. I think to do it all like systematically would take forever. So, oh, here we go. Look at this. Mm. So we're just going to kind of roughly go. We're gonna, probably going to, we decided we're just going to kind of head upstairs, upstairs and see what's on top. We think that there's some kind of a suite on the upper level. There must be. We've heard, I think, that like the emperor once stayed in this hotel like a long time ago. And they stayed in this like panoramic room at the top. So that's kind of our goal. We're going to head towards that room. We're going to head upstairs. But along the way, of course, we're going to shoot this stuff. And there's a really nice breeze in here. Nice. <laughs> you know, I find it like even though I'm shooting very wide, I'm finding it very hard to frame things sometimes because it's it's tempting to get like everything in, you know. 
super wide, right? Like mm -hmm, try to get mm -hmm. everything. But then when you do that, it doesn't look good sometimes actually to get everything. They're gonna choose the object they wanna shoot. Yeah, I know, and I'm, it's tricky. I want to get a cool composition here. Maybe 24 millimeter, I'll try. That's pretty cool, I like that show, that's good. All right, should All I right. keep going? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go this way, and then up the stairs over here. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some rooms, we're going to check it out, but I just want to go a little bit higher. Because there's like four floors, and we'll look at the rooms higher up. Oh, these rooms are all collapsed. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of like the ceiling fell in there. Oh. Let me go a little bit further. This room is actually really clean. Yeah, yeah, it? some of them look really clean, I just noticed. Like, mm. depends on the room. Some of them are completely destroyed. Like this one as well is pretty nice. We have no problem to stay here in this room. Uh, right. <laughs> speak for yourself. I would not want to stay in this room. But it looks really clean. Is it maybe because it's not exposed by the sea breeze, you think? Yeah, I think it depends on the side. So like on this side, is the sea. The water is dripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those rooms are destroyed and this yeah, side are okay. All right. Well, I think there's a staircase because there's like an exit sign I see over there. So there might be a staircase on this side and we can just go upstairs from here. So I want to I want to get higher up first. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's behind this door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should we open the door? The room behind us is cool too, but whatever, let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shut the door gently so it doesn't slam because it's going to be Can you go upstairs <laughs> instead of downstairs? Yeah, let's go up. Because it's brighter. Okay, I just didn't want to smash, but the door smash, you know. I don't think anybody's in here, but it doesn't mean you want to make a lot of noise, right? Does this door open, Chica? Can you open it? Yeah. Okay, great. Let's go out here. That's hot. Okay. And yeah, close it gently. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a pretty cool room maybe for shooting. It is really hot in here, very humid. Mm. So yeah, I'm looking for some cool rooms. You know, I did a little bit of research online. You know, people have been here before. I saw some cool photos. And I'm looking for like, ah, that's what I really wanted to find. Beautiful. Yeah, this wow, is, this is incredible. This is awesome, yeah. So much plant growth mm. and everything is rotting. Mm -hmm. There's a musty, Musky, whatever, smell in the I air. can like, smell something strong. Yeah, it's clearly kind of moldy, but mm. but it's not so bad that I can't be in here. Like, it, you know, hopefully we don't get infected by some sort of horrible mold. <laughs> Let's see here, how are we gonna shoot this? Wow. Mm. So yeah, like I said, guys, I'm doing this on F2.8, 120th, you know, it's not gonna be absolutely corner to corner sharp, but, you know, probably later, I'll come back, we'll do something with the tripod. That's sweet. That's sweet, It's actually kind of hotter than yesterday. Yeah, that's awesome. Beautiful. Mm. Walk very slowly because the floor can be, <laughs> you know, slippery. unstable. You can fall through mm. the floor. I mean, we saw the rooms below, uh -huh. right? So the rooms below, like 
this ceiling thing, so if you look up, there's like this frame here, right? And above, you can see there's concrete. So maybe it's okay, because concrete probably won't collapse, right? So easily. Mm -hmm. But in some of the rooms below, what we saw is this entire frame thing was on the floor, totally destroyed, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I mean, it, it, looking at it now, it is concrete, but it does look like there's some, you know, wet spots and cracks in the concrete, so... I would just be very careful where you step and step slow because if you step, you know, I don't know, the floor might break, who knows. Hmm. All right. I'm pretty happy. Shall we move on? Another room? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. I see. I imagine a lot of the rooms on this side because, yeah, these ones look like basically like new. Another incredible room. Mm, shall we go in there? Um, yeah, let's shoot that one too real quick. Mm -hmm. But let's not spend as much time in this okay. one. Okay. So this is beautiful too. It is beautiful, yeah. Let me go in. Let me go in, chicken. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All the way in. Put the That's camera good. in too, remember? Mm. Camera too. Ooh. Yeah, this is Boy. pretty incredible, this TV over here. Mm. So guys, for, for my camera, I think the Z6 is the same, but the numbers are different. It has, it has dual ISO, right? So either from 64 to 400, it's the same like ISO performance. And then from 400 and up, it switches to a different one. So when you're editing, if I shoot this at like 300 ISO, 320, and then I increase the exposure like plus one in post, then I'm gonna get a lot of noise. But if I just shoot it over 400, it'll look better. And your camera, I think it's, 100 to 400 is the first one, mm -hmm. or sorry, 100 to 800, mm -hmm. and then above 800. So the point is, when I'm shooting these, I am, if I'm close to 400, I'd rather actually be over it than under it, you know? So I'm kind of adjusting my settings so that I'm either like at 100 ISO or so is my goal, or I'm at like 500 ISO, just a little bit over. So anyway, just a little very technical thing, but it's just what, what's going through my mind right now as I'm shooting this. I love that one fern over there that's like, it has this beautiful curve. <laughs> Too bad it's not a little bit closer. I can zoom in and play. That's right, you can zoom in. It's beautiful. Come over here. And you know what's also interesting is, the floor here looks like some kind of moss. Right? When you look at it, you're like, oh, this is like some kind of weird green moss. But it's carpet, right? It's like carpet that's been totally liquefied by decades of rain or whatever. Because when you step on it, it feels like some sort of like water comes out of it. It's so weird. Look at this. Like if I step here, you can see water squeezes out of this thing. Yeah. Really wild stuff. Ferns growing everywhere. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, watch out, watch out. Okay. So I think we're ready to go up another floor. Like Ooh. I said, we could stay on this floor and check every room, you know, but I think they're going to be samey. Let's keep going up. I want to see what's higher up. Here's another one of these. Another one, yeah. Creepy things. You're creepy? I'm not is creepy. It, is, it, <laughs> is it creepy for you? Yeah, it's creepy for me. Yeah, this is like oh. the third one we found. Oh, this is just probably, a cute... Cute Somebody came here and drew this shit. It means something, right? It's it's not like a, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think we're, we're walking me, into cute. some sort of creepy. Oh, cult. look at this! Doesn't it look like um, R2 P2? R2 D2? R2 P2? You're right. This is R2 D2's like retarded cousin, R2 P2. <laughs> okay, wow, this yeah. is awesome. So here is like a banquet room. Yeah, it says banquet room Frisia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Frisia. oh man, this is amazing. Full of ferns, it's like a garden in here. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Oh. Look wow. at the piano over there. Yeah, and there's a piano. And there's a one <laughs> A one chair? One audience. Which I'm sure somebody put here later. And, uh, what is this on the floor? Look at there's like eggs on the floor. Huh? Isn't this weird? Look at this. This like looks like a fried egg. I'm not gonna touch it. I don't want to touch it. It's gross.
And usually guys in our videos, it's so noisy, you know, like we're on the mountain, or not the mountain, but in the city or something like that. And here it's like absolutely silent. You just hear a little bit of wind. Right? I don't know if you could hear that down the mic. Maybe I'll, I'll try to bring that up later with some editing, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. I'm going to shoot a photo this way too. Why not? Although I think the piano direction is more interesting. And then I wonder, and I love this, there's a bingo mm -hmm. finger majigger, whatever that's called, the ball mixer. <laughs> Do you see uh, this? Check out this thing. Bingo. Uh, bingo, ne? bingo. You want to play bingo? B I N G O B I N G O. Okay, we're definitely we're definitely gonna cut that. <laughs> Do you really want that in the video? Inja, go inja. You know Do the, you know this song? Yeah, the song has nothing to do with this. <laughs> it's for, for kids, kids right? about a dog. Yeah. So <laughs> that was the corniest thing ever. Because uh, I don't know anything about you know. Being, oh, piano still works. Can you play the piano? I knew you were going to do Fury Release because that's the only thing I learned when I was a kid. It's the, the, the first like six notes are really easy. But I couldn't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> wow. Let's keep it's going. so bad. Let's keep so going. Let's see is. what's back here. <laughs> it's amazing. This is like a nice piano. I mean, it used to be nice. Making lots of noise. This is just a big room. Let's go in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Huh. Do you want to do karaoke? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at this. So it's a big uh, theater. I never yeah. heard you singing. Yeah, and you never, trust me, you don't want to. You never will. <laughs> wow. More bingo. All right, guys. So I imagine back here. Is like a service area. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we should walk through there. And then we'll, I think we can get through, it looks like we can get through, go around and go back to the main stairs. And then we'll go up another level. Mm. And I imagine that's where the suites are. Old kitchens. shooting it in here. I don't really see a thing to shoot, but it's just interesting to go through. Another theater, this time with Japanese seating, floor seating. And I don't know how well you can see, but out there is the kind of the front, front driveway, I guess, of the hotel. And then another building back there. Which I, I think is part of the hotel complex. I don't know what's in that building, but what's in that building, but you know, maybe a swimming pool or something. Hmm. I mean, the speakers look nice, like they still work. Those, you know, somebody could take those. <laughs> Some audiophile guy. Okay, these are the stairs. All right, I'd say let's let's head up higher. Okay, let's keep going. Watch your step here, it looks like the floor is messed up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, very messed gotta up. Gotta be careful. Very messed up. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> yeah. There's R2P2 again. R2P2 again, yeah. yeah. And another room full of ferns, another mm -hmm. banquet room. Mm -hmm. So somebody left like a, a tennis racket and it kind of looks like it's pointing and I, I swear that's not us. We didn't come here and prep this. That's, I just saw this now. That's really weird. But I do want to check this door. Ooh, 
this might be it. Wow. Okay, here we go. The El Presidente Suite. Oh, is this door? I the don't know. Suite? I don't really know, but I mean, I imagine because hmm. this is clearly a room and mm -hmm. it's gigantic and it has the views all the way around and I imagine the guests, though, don't come in through that door. So they must have like a nicer way in that we didn't see, but... I think this is for the uh, staff, so you ah, know, to, okay. to make a cocktail or something. Hold on a second, uh -huh. hold on a second. Can I pour you a drink? <laughs> Can There's I have a martini, uh, please? Just a second. <laughs> okay, there's nothing back here, <laughs> so I can't even pretend to make a drink. Um, yeah, is this the menu? Uh, it's something. Yeah, wow. Well, it's some information. Mm. Okay, kid. Okay, kid. Okay, kid. Oh, yeah, this is your bill. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, I'll get out of here. So this is the room that I heard from Axel, actually, mm -hmm. that at some point in the past, the Japanese emperor, I'm assuming it was the Showa emperor, not the Heisei emperor, so this is like in the, maybe the 70s or 80s, mm -hmm. stayed in this room. Right? In this room? In this room, yeah. I don't know if it's this room, but in the best room in this hotel, mm -hmm. I think that's this room. So, anyway, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, here's some martini glasses. Yeah, I could have given you a martini. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Martini glass. I think this is for Manhattan glass. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Chica used to be a bartender, so she knows all about that. All right, I'm gonna shoot this. Chica, can you come come back a little bit? I want to get a shot of it from this angle because this is extremely cool looking. Let's see here, f5.6. So in a scene like this with a ton of depth, it's very tricky to think about where to focus. And I'm only on f5.6, which isn't the most, you know, deep. Let's go to f8, f8 and a 20th. So what I do in shots like this is I try to focus somewhere in the middle. So I. In, the, in terms of this room, I didn't focus on this chair that's on my left, and I didn't focus on the back wall. I focused first on this yellow glass block wall, and then I focused on the chandelier that's on the floor over there. Two things that are kind of in the middle of the frame, in terms of the depth, in the middle of the range. Move over a little bit. I was in a little bit in the off-center. and do it again. I'm, I'm probably not doing hyperfocal distance, which would be like the perfect distance where you have everything in focus from whatever minimum distance all the way to infinity. But I don't need it here because infinity is not visible anyway. I'm trying to get like an optimal depth of field. And I'm just kind of guessing by focusing on different things in the middle of the range. Wow, there's a fireplace even. Crazy. But it doesn't seem real, right? There's no chimney. Yeah, there's no chimney. It's not a real fireplace. That's funny. It's a fake fireplace. And it has to be fake. There's no way this is real wood, right? I mean, I guess it looks like real wood. Oh no, the wood is real. It's amazing that the wood didn't rot after all these years, right? It's just like... Uh, those oh. woods, you know, on the left side looks... The, but that's fake. Yeah, it's, yeah fake. it's fake burnt wood to make <laughs> the <laughs> fake <laughs> fireplace look more realistic. That's so funny. <laughs> well, I guess the emperor doesn't deserve a real fireplace. <laughs> Another piano. Look at that. So, see how these two are already pressed, Chica? Mm -hmm. If you press those, then a secret door will open. <laughs> So nothing happens, yeah. 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 It's broken clearly. Sounds out of tune to me. I don't know anything about instruments, but it didn't sound good, the show. Nice. I'm not good at the music. I think wow. it's bright, no? Crazy. I just want to highlight as well, guys, that I don't know about you, but I am sweating so much. Mm -hmm. It is extremely hot in here. It's like a sauna. All right, let's get a couple more shots. Let's maybe shoot the piano real quick. All right, that's mm -hmm. definitely worth shooting. Beautiful. Can I go in front? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. And then while you do that, mm. I gotta shoot this scene. I love the chandelier on the sofa. I don't know how that happened. I feel like somebody put it there. Oh, 
right. Yeah. And then a Japanese room over here. Japanese flooring, Japanese style. Mm -hmm. In Japanese is called a washitsu. It just basically means there's tatami on the floor, which is this material here. Oh, and this is, seems to be the bathroom. I see footprints of modern shoes, so clearly somebody came here. Oh no, this is the bedroom. Oh, yeah, we didn't find the bedroom yet. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a pretty, yeah, it's a nice bathroom, you can tell, but it's kind of, it's a little bit, um, you know, humble. It's not like a super crazy, beautiful bathroom. Maybe Axel, you can show it. Eh, isn't it too small for Emperor? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, a, it's not a very impressive bathroom, right? No, not at all. Like, it's nice, but you know, it's a little small. But maybe that's the, you know, It's too small. That's the 80s, you know? That's what it looks like. All right, well, I don't really want to shoot anything in here because it's, you know, it's cool. But it's not, like, visually interesting for a photo. But anyway, on that note, I think at this point, we're going to wrap this one up because we've been, we've been rolling video in here for about an hour. And ultimately, you know, our videos are like only 30, 45 minutes long. So, yeah, so, you know, we're going to stop here. We'll probably just shoot it on our own now. On that note, thank you guys so much for following us on this adventure. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below in the description, or, you know, in the comments below. <laughs> All right. And remember always. Challenge eye.